My name is Regina Thompson and uh, Regina Gale Thompson, my dad, he's Cherokee named me. Uh, my name means uh, Queen of the Wind and um, my grandma, Cherokee, named me Gina Gale. Um, yeah, we were raised in, by the creek eating baloney. <laughs> grandma, full blood Cherokee, she stood about four foot six, wore size four shoe. And um, she said that, I remember the story, she went and gathered. Um, she, she didn't have honeysuckle, it, it, it got wiped out. So that was a source. And so she gathered what they call buck brush. She gathered it and uh, she had done it that evening and um, soaked it and everything and weaved a basket, which if you know buck brush, it's pretty hard. It's not very long branches, you know, in her part, in locust. And so she had made it, but she made a, she had to make it bigger so they would at least, they, when she took it to town with, well, you know, with the folks, and market folks, that they would give her a good piglet for it so she could raise it with corn and all that so she could, you know, uh, have bacon later. <laughs> So I was like, okay. <laughs> but I remember some of this and I actually, you know, I have these stories that come in and I'll talk to some of my 75 year old cousins and 80, Ruby Jane and Zelma, and they'll say, yes, Gina, how'd you know that? I don't know, it came to me. And they confirm a lot of my stories, my elders and my family. And they'll say, we didn't tell you that. And I said, no man, you didn't. I said, is that a true story? And they go, yeah. I said, it came to me and I'll be weaving. And sometimes I wonder, if my grandma's handprint is just right here on me. And this is basically um, kind of how I, this is what a lot of my projects look like. Sometimes I start my weaving and if I need to let it rest, I'll let it dry out. What I do with my basket weaving is after I've started it and to keep it pliable and things, I'll spray. I'll keep a little spray bottle and that just, so this way the spokes don't, you know, break and then you can sit and as as a woman what i do is i just sit here and each spoke will i keep it straight and i say a lot of prayers as i'm going and sometimes i sing songs and, uh, and my grandma would tell me little stories and things but uh, I, I respect that so that's why I, this is where i'm going to stay it's just weaving my baskets and my grandkids can weave baskets too and we, we speak a little bit Cherokee as we weave. This was my complete circle. I made a full circle in my life when, I mean, I made jewelry, uh, I made crafts or typical crafts and things. Just never was fulfilled, never. And then I started researching my history because of my mother, you know, uh, Lil. And when I got more into that and seeing and understanding and talking, uh, I took a class, said, you know, that really interests me. And then I found out there was more to it because of my heritage. And uh, my grandmother, I was like, uh, this, this, this is who I am. And this is why people know me. I'm a basket case, you know. Look at Moses, he was a basket case, you know. <laughs> he floated down a river. 